While those in support of what's also known as Obamacare say that it's helped many Americans, especially here in our area, they're still being met with opposition. It's cold out here, but we're here to stay. Mike Kelly's hands off the ACA. Signs and cheers with different messages, but all aimed at the same cause. We've been asking for years to have a meeting with him um, just to get our, you know, to, to just to talk and communicate. It's really a lot of stuff going on in Washington right now, and we feel like he owes it to us to come and, and tell us what's going on. The last time he actually came to any place in the district and had an open town hall where people could just come and ask questions, six years. This, and we're willing to drive anywhere within the district, and he's refusing to do that. This law is very important. Brian Skibo, who's battling an inoperable and uncurable brain tumor, came following a chemo appointment to protest. 5.5 million people in PA have pre-existing conditions. Without the Affordable Care Act, we, we would be denied. But still, they were met with opposition. I care about other people that may not have that same question. They're complaining about the health care and about Obamacare. They want to keep Obamacare the way it is. Obamacare was not a help to anybody. It hurt more families than it did good. Rallies like this one in Sharon today aren't the first of their kind. Protests like this one have been popping up across the nation as people are worried that Republicans will repeal Obamacare without finding a replacement first. In a statement sent to our newsroom, Kelly says in part, Obamacare is a failed law and Republicans will continue working to responsibly repeal and replace it. But he didn't address what it could potentially be replaced with. I think it's important that he come as they're trying to work out what they're doing with the ACA to come here and see how it affects all of us. What's the plan for health care? What's the plan for us? And this group tells me they will continue to hold these rallies until they're given an opportunity to speak with Congressman Kelly directly. And they want to make their voices heard. To read the congressman's full statement, you can head over to our website, WKBN.com. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Lindsay Watson, 27 First News at 11.